I was a simple man, a farmer from a small hamlet, the kind too insignificant to appear on any map. I had not to my name, save a plot of land, a loving family, and the freedom to live my life as I saw fit. To one such as I, I was more than plenty, but it was all wrested away from me. One morning they appeared, on the morrow, like lightning from a clear sky, the mad king's men rode into our village. They called us conspirators and outlaws, rebels. This was preposterous, of course. The fields kept us far too busy for such notions. We pled as much, begged them to see sense, but the king's men would not hear of it. Their cold steel cut through our pleading words. The soldiers did not stop until the streets ran red, thick with our blood. It was a massacre. They poisoned our waters, burned our homes and countryside, and salted the earth beneath their hobnailed boots. They slaughtered my neighbors, killed my wife, and took my only son, a captive. The king's men spared only me, along with a handful of other unfortunate souls. No doubt, so that we might tell the tale of terror they had sown, and tell it I have. "'Twas never a man of grand courage, nor ambition I, better suited for hoe and axe and plough. But the mad king had taken all from me, all I had ever known, and left me only with a hollow hatred that keeps me awake at night, consuming my every conscious thought. My son yet lives. I know it in my heart. And so I set out to find him and bring him home. One farmer with a woodcutter's axe. Yet soon, I'd traded that axe for a sword and found others, lost souls like me, forming up behind it, forming up behind me. They, too, had nothing left to lose. Almost overnight, we stopped being frightened farmers. We became the very rebellion that the king so fears. We found ourselves allies, and as it turns out, our dear ruler has made quite a few enemies. These marshaled men have given us arms, intelligence, and most of all, a way forward, a path to revenge. Now, we march upon the capital. The people's justice will no longer be denied, and my son, my son is coming home. At dawn, we shall slay a king.